All right, guys, I got an airbag that's leaking on my trailer, on my flatbed. And uh, I got the new airbag here. We're going to go ahead and get that changed. I got a few tools laid out here I think I might need. This airbag's got a stud on the bottom of it and uh, just two nuts on the top, and the air fitting goes uh, in one of these, and uh, the other one you just cap off, I believe. And uh, I ordered this on the... Uh, on eBay actually uh, because uh, I stopped at Napa and uh, I was gonna pick one up at Napa but they wanted 200 a little over 200 bucks for one and I bought this one on eBay for like 140 something it's the same airbag so uh, I didn't see a need to pay 70 something dollars more for the same thing uh, when I could wait two days because this one hadn't the one that's on my trailer hadn't blowed out yet so uh, yeah, I'm gonna take y'all out here and show y'all and uh, Show you what I'm talking about here. <clears throat> How well you can see under here, but it's got a cord showing right here. When I air the bag up, you'll you'll be able to see uh, a little better. But that's what we're going to change right there. Hopefully, it'll go uh, go pretty smoothly. I don't know. Oh. So uh, usually, you you don't want to change these when they're uh, when the trailer's loaded. So uh, you want to try to change it empty if you can. So uh, it's hard to get it jacked up. I'm actually not even gonna jack it up. I'm gonna try to uh, back up in this little hole I have over here uh, when my shop's at here. We dug this trench here for a footing and uh, the rain's kind of washed it out and it's kind of turned into a little ditch. And so I'm just going to back down in here and uh, let the let the rear axle drop down this hole and the front axle will kind of hold it up and it'll give me space to get that airbag out of there without jacking it up. So here we go. Get some air pressure built up here. You can see the gauge has got so much dust on it. That's the air pressure gauge is right there, front and rear tanks. That's your apply pressure. built up there in a minute I'm gonna take you by guys back here this airbag and uh, clamp you on so you can see whenever I release the trailer brakes and the bags layer up and you can see what I'm talking about
All right, guys, hopefully you've seen how that dropped down uh, when I backed in that hole there. And you look right here, you can see the cords in this bag showing. I don't know how well the lighting showing, but it's showing all the way around. And uh, it's actually starting to leak. Uh, this one over here is a little, uh, little bit better, but not very much. Uh, the front axle, I've already placed the airbags on. But uh, hopefully with this, air, uh, this axle being dropped down in this hole like this, this allows us to just unbolt this and slide it out and slide a new one in. Uh, if not, I may have to jack it up just a touch, but it shouldn't be too bad. So uh, let's see how this goes here. I'm gonna go get the other airbag and stuff. Just wanna show another view of what I was talking about here, how I back down in the hole right there and let the rear axle drop down. And the front one's holding some of the weight, you know, a lot of the weight up allows that rear to drop down. I should be able to get that airbag out there. All right, guys, I'm gonna spray this down with a uh, PB blaster here. Just nuts on the top. There's one around here that you can't see. That one on the bottom. <clears throat> Go ahead and see if we can get the airline off of here. I need to go ahead and order a bag for the other side. Uh, I'll probably do that before too much longer and go ahead and get it changed as well. Let's see how I can get on this to get this fitting off here. Not damaging it. It's kind of difficult the way it's pointed. Hmm. I'll put a wrench on that cursor wrench, baby. Nope. I wonder if it's actually the same size as this wrench. It's pretty close. Gotta turn some. All righty. Got that out of there. Yeah, let's see what size those nuts are. Inch and an eighth. Lord, that's tight. Got an inch and a three sixteenths on the end of it. Turn for more leverage. I still can't break it loose. Huh? I was afraid of that. It's got so much corrosion on them. <clears throat> Move then. I'm 
guys, I'm guessing these are probably the original airbags that was on this trailer from 99. <laughs> That's what I'm guessing by the way they look. I changed the, the, uh, the two on the front axle last year, I think. It could have been the year before. I don't know. These didn't look quite this bad, but they were getting there. I just kind of never changed them. I was looking at this another day when I had a load on it, and it was starting to leak air. I mean, it, it wasn't just, you know, blowing everywhere, but it's starting to leak between these cords here. So I knew it wouldn't be probably long, a couple weeks, to probably blow out and leave me surrounded on the side of the road somewhere. Give me a slow process, y'all. Guys, I'm having trouble getting this back one back here loose. I can't get enough leverage on it, even with both of those wrenches, to do any good. Try the old hammer trick here and see how that does. If that don't work, got one other trick I might try with a trying to get two wrenches and a pry bar on it to pry against a wrench or something. Just can't. Can't really get up under here real good to get no good leverage on it to start with. That's not working very good. Well, let's see if we can try two wrenches and a pry bar. That'll work. <clears throat> it doesn't work very good, is it? Broke it loose, I think. Yeah. Pry ball pried on it up under that axle like that. Give me just enough leverage to break it loose. Sometimes, guys, you got to use your tools like they really wasn't meant to be used to get the job done. Well guys, I can't get the stud on the bottom of here uh, off. The bolt's just turning, the stud's turning around and around and the nut's not coming off. Um, and the top of it is obviously inside the airbag. Uh, so evidently whatever's holding it inside that plastic uh, piston that they have in there is uh, it's just turning the whole bolt, turning, I can't do anything with it. So I'm gonna try to saw it off of there some kind of way. There's not a whole lot of room there to get up in there. I'm trying to saw it off with the saws out here. Split the nut or something.
I got part of it cut off. off there then. <clears throat> Alright guys, I got it off of there. Got one more thing we gotta take out. We gotta take out this fitting right here, this plug. But uh I did get that that uh bolt there sawed off and got it pried out and finished breaking it off and got the airbag out of there. As you can tell it's junk. It was junk to begin with. There's a plastic piston that comes out of it. And uh, that stud is actually part of the airbag in there. And it was just this, the whole stud was rotating. Is the reason I had to cut it off. But uh, anyway, I'm going to see if I can get this fitting out of here. And apparently not stripped out. Hopefully I can come up with a quarter inch plug somewhere. I believe that's what that is. Uh, that shouldn't be a problem. I'll just get a new uh, a new plug and put in the, the new bag. And uh, I can do that once it's on there. So we're going to go ahead and get the new one stuck in place. Alright guys, I got the top two bolts tied. I got uh, Teflon tape 
on the air fitting where it screws in the pipe through part where it screws into the bag hooking up the airline now um, I still got to get a, a plug for the other side to, to uh, plug the hole off so air won't come out and I got to go get a nut uh, to, to bolt the bottom of the bag in and uh, this bag here actually where the stud comes to the bag and the piston that piston has actually got a nut on it and, and the stud is tightened down through the piston in the bag to keep that stud from turning I guess uh, that's been a problem they had for the different manufacturer or whatever did it differently or something the reason this other one didn't have a nut through the piston and the stud turned and had to cut it off so I do believe I have a nut in the house I think it's just a half inch 13 coarse thread nut on this particular bag and the uh, the air fittings uh, or the plug that I need is just a quarter inch uh, NPT plug. I don't know if I have one of those, but if not, I can run to Lowe's or somewhere and pick up one and screw that in there real quick and be ready to go. But uh, that's about all it is, too. Putting it on there, like I say, uh, you know, usually you got to jack it up or, or uh, some kind of way to get this axle to drop down like that, but lucky enough to have this ditch here today i backed in but i'm gonna go get a half inch 13 thread nut and put on the bottom and i'll go get a plug and put in there and this job will be complete so uh, i hope you guys enjoyed the video and as always thanks for watching